All right, so this is where I'm at so far. Made a little adjustment here. I originally had a spool going around, but I decided that was making the tape act too funny. So instead, I put a spring to kind of give that some tension. This one is to adjust tape tension all together. So when you put a piece of uh, cassette tape on here, you can you want it to be a little flimsy. Since now on the playhead, we have that, which allows it to move up to the playhead and get good contact, which allows it, when it runs across the other heads, to get tension. Anyways, so, turn on the motor. There's the motor. And, uh, get back for a second, play something. same time but so now only that head's gone which is that one which is this only one head there's only the delay between the record head and that so when I play you can hear a slight delay turn on the speed turn all the way down Second head, third head. Of course, you can have only just the slowest head. So we'll turn them all up because that sounds kind of cool. And eventually, I might add feedback, so we'll feed back through, and uh, I'll have a much cooler setup, which was the other holes are for there for the other potentiometers. So let's play a little something. Which is connected to the circuitry I'm working on. So, so far, this is the bias oscillator, which uh, biases and also erases the cassette as it goes along. This is the preamp circuitry I'm working on currently, which is all tied in through a couple of potentiometers here for inputs and outputs, which will eventually get in there. But that's where I'm at so far. I think it's working pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And there it is. For now. Thanks for watching.